Damn, night time already, okay. <laughs> Nobody's sleeping. <laughs> ah, man. Dude, I'm like consistently the first person to go to bed. It's crazy. Not what I meant to do. The hit escape, I get out of the bed. Hi, Cinder, how you doing? Whoa. Hope you're well. I just, I just felt like streaming Minecraft all of a sudden. It's, it's just like before, but with Levin server, I just did a lot of like off hour streams and it was all Minecraft. <laughs> It's just oops all Minecraft. I just woke up. I see. I did I did start stream earlier than I usually do. Well, I mean, a day and a few hours earlier than I usually do. So makes sense. Morning, morning. Then hope you're doing well. Um, I am just oh, I am just uh waiting for the night to pass by. Hello there, Dinwar. Hope you're doing well. What's up? As plentiful as always, Cinder. As plentiful as always. Wah hug. But yeah, hope you all are doing nice and fine. Uh. Just want to play more Minecraft on stream is all. <laughs> oh man. Crazy. Crazy. We're only gonna go into like VR chat later tonight. Uh to take a few photos of this coffee dirt that I did. Uh so I got commissioned like a few days ago by uh Dudemus. And they wanted a jet dragon, like a plane dragon with the jet prefab, with uh, coffee stuff on it. So like latte art, coffee patterns, the lot. I did that. And they really seemed to like it. So yeah, I'm happy about that. What a skeleton spawner. Ooh, nice. You could, you could probably set up like a bone farm then, yeah? Coffee... <laughs> Coffee Jet Derg, yeah. Coffee Jet Derg. Hey yo, hi there Hyper. This is usually not the time that I stream, but you probably know that already. If the uh, off hours in the title didn't give that away already. Keck. Ah oh, man. It is what it is though. I just feel like streaming all of a sudden. Well, streaming just a whole lot of nothing all of a sudden. I made a farm thing? Nice, very nice. How does how does one collect spawners anyway? Do you not need silk touch for that or anything? Cause you'd imagine those are something that doesn't just drop a block if you hit at it with a Ah, uh, okay. Normally you can't collect them at all. I think they have too much health after the drop. Ooh, okay. I haven't moved it? Fair, fair. Right, I see. Makes sense then, makes sense. I was, I was wondering how people were making all these spawners and it's like, oh, you just build around them. Cool. It is what it is. But yeah. I I made a few modifications to the uh the little hut by the way. I uh, actually put the roof a little bit higher and then put some space in front of the door. So now every time you wake up in this hut, uh 
country load? What? Use a compass on a lodestone. Ah, okay. Uh, so every time you wake up, you don't lose, like, half a heart and end up in, like, a prone pose. Like, the swimming pose. As I was getting bothered by losing every- losing a heart and going slow every time I wake up in this hut. <laughs> oh, man. Collect connected another portal next to it. Oh, nice. Uh, spider spawners are no good. Ah, uh, fair, fair. I initially was like, give spider plus because, uh, who asked for bamboo? Uh, I don't know. Literally at half a heart. Oop. I'm just reading chat. I'm just reading, like, my stream chat. And part ways the, the actual in-game chat. Because, like, nobody goes to bed in this server, dude. Probably people are building stuff. Others are in the nether. Because going into the nether is, like, a big thing here, right? And, uh... Yeah. People just don't go to sleep in this server. Some do. Don't get me wrong. Some do. Most don't. So you kind of just are... There you, there you go. Someone left. So you kind of just end up like being in bed pretty much the entire night. Until the actual day comes up. Uh, and then you go do your stuff. Because it is what it is, you know? And also make a spawner without using spawners if you're looking for your XP or loot. Ah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Because I was going to say, initially, I like I kept going after spiders during the night. Because I needed string to make fishing rods. Because I didn't have too many fishing rods uh, on me. And then, and then I got like the mending fishing rod, which I used like since then. It only took me like ten rods, right? <laughs> and then I like enchanted, and then I like went to the anvil to like make a like the true god rod. I've actually made two now. I think uh, I gave one to a. Uh, I, I failed to recall who. I gave one to Simmer, and I gave one other to someone else who was like, Hey, would you like to uh, give the God Rod or something? And uh, I've been getting diamonds that way, funnily enough. Uh, okay, boat. I made four pickaxes and one shovel. The shovel got fortune three. Fortune three on a shovel, eh? Okay. Wouldn't that be useful for, like... Gathering stuff in the nether. Okay, there you go. We fishing now. Or what? I'm gonna show this for flint. Ah, okay. Fair enough. It's trying to get it on the pickaxes. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> uh, okay. Pain. So we get in the pickaxes, yeah. Fortune shovels for flint, yeah. I've gotten a bit of flint. I still don't have a flint and steel, hilariously enough. <laughs> I still need to make that shit. But, like, I also don't... It's better than fortune on an axe. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I can't really argue that. One thing you can get from that is apples. Ah, I see. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I, I think I actually have a pick with, like, fortune and efficiency. Uh, it's a diamond pick. It's the only one I have. I haven't actually used diamonds for much else. Uh, but I have it. I just haven't used it. Have you upgraded your enchantment table? Yes, yeah, Cinder, it's a... Uh, it's at 15 books, uh, well, it's at 15 bookshelves, you can get level, you can get like level 3 enchantments on it now. And because I don't have, I don't think I cl changed my claim size or anything, so people can actually go and use the enchantment table in my uh, 
poem. So yeah, if you need to like, if you're at like level 30 and you need to uh, enchant something, uh, you can use my enchantment table for the time being. So yeah. I got stacks of leather. Ah, I see. I'm not actually... Where did you get the leather from? Uh, I got the leather purely from fishing. Like, straight up. And then, I think Swift, was it? Actually went and gave me, like, a bunch of books. So I was able to, like, fast track upgrading the, uh... The enchantment table. So now I have, like... Full enchantment tables, plus one spared bookshelf. But yeah, thank you, thanks a bunch, Cinder. I am not, I'm not in the need for books right now, though. So yeah, narrator goes burst. Someone turned on the narrator, oh my god. But yeah, I no longer am in the need for... Uh, okay. Hold up, let me let me do something real quick. Okay. Oh, they're just they're just gonna drown. They're just gonna become drowned. Fair enough. I was gonna beat it. I was gonna beat their ass up, but I don't wanna bother going underwater for a zombie or even a drowned. But yeah, uh, I got a lot of leather just from fishing, so there's that. And let's you know, that's also how I get a lot of name tags. So yeah. Oh, they're, they, they're drowned now. So yeah. See there's there you go, that's a name tag right there. And I'm at level 44 too. Like fishing has given me so many levels so far, it's just like I can enchant shit if I just fish for half an hour. I did have to get the auto fishing mod though. Uh, my right hand was starting to hurt after all that right clicking, and uh, considering I do retexture work, that's kind of not something that I want. So, is it? It just kind of it. It is what it is, you know. My gear is also in need of either fixing or just rebuilding. There is auto fishing. Uh, it's a client side mod, so. It doesn't affect the server. You can just go ahead. If you if you have something like CurseForge, uh, you can install it like right away from within the application. So yeah, that was a thing on Lemon Server actually. It hacks. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I ever got flagged for like auto fishing or anything. Cause it's not something that shows up on non-admin chat, but on Bard Stream, I have seen like the chat saying that people were getting flagged for like X they're get they're getting flagged for stuff but the resolution that Twitch gave me wasn't exactly good and I didn't want to like go up to like 1080p just to read an admin message so I don't know about it. oh shit okay Lonslow, thank you for the 20 subs! Holy shit, bro! My god, okay. First time I hear that alert. Oh yeah, it's happened a few times now thanks to a bunch of people. Kinda scared me. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Lonslow. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it so much. God, there's so many, like, familiar names here. Like... My god. Fucking Woody got us up to <laughs> Lemon Okay, let me let me uh 
Let me see. Oh, Suki, hello. Welcome into the stream. Bwah. Hope you're doing nice and fine. Bwah. Okay, let me let me see. You have you have Red Mag, Carter Fox, Gray actually got a uh, sub. So there's that. Conta Husky, Zero Noah, Welsh Furry Gaming, 69, Amaro Lynx, Prank is Live, Doggler, Sledge LP, Lion Core, William Horkoy, Woody Wood Pie, Wo Woody got a sub, cool, very nice. Anime BTW, Win Van Dam, Unbreakable Tamaskin, Noah Blue Tail, Lucky Hacker, Onward Enthusiast, and Lemon. There's so many, there's a bunch of familiar names in there, my god. <laughs> Lonzo, thank you so much for the 20 subs. I, I super appreciate it, man. I really do. Ah. Them sounds. But yeah. Suki, welcome in. Hope you're doing nice and fine. Uh, this is usually not the time that I stream. Well, it's close to the time that I would stream. But, uh, no, it's not even close to the time that I would stream. I'm very early. Uh, I don't usually stream today. I just wanted to do a Minecraft uh, stream out of nowhere. Hope you have a nice chill time here, though. But yeah, uh, I actually have four different alerts, uh, depending on how many subs are gifted. And uh, Dinwar here has actually uh, triggered that a few times now. The third one, anyway. Uh, I basically took inspiration from flares. Uh, they have like varying number of alerts for how many subs are gifted. And uh, on their channel, gifting like a hundred uh, plays, I think, the entirety of uh, Roses. I think St. John's Roses. So, hey yo. I'm the girls on. Got my order email from Steam Deck yesterday, so I purchased it today. Oh, nice! I hear the Steam Deck's pretty nice. I hear it's pretty good. So, yeah! Mince Raft. Oh, I see left. It's so nice, cute, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. I did the textures myself, so I. I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> ah, man. I love this avatar, though. It's it's very cute. It's very goofy, in a sense, and I love it. So, yeah. Brown's actually she, her? Ah, yeah, fair enough. Thanks, thanks for pointing it out, though. Though, I think I should make this a warning to everyone. I've basically started using dude as a gender gender neutral term <laughs> so it's like i'll say dude i'll say bro but that fish just flew right over my head so it's just like ah hello there care you've been following for quite a while now oh my god nice we'll come in once again but yeah, I hope that doesn't... Well, I guess someone's gonna take off and that eventually, but I hope no one takes that much offense to that. Because, like, I've basically, like, just... Oh my god, okay, they're trying to come after me. They're coming after me. Yeah. Get out of there. Bonk. Yeah. It's your birthday today? Well, happy, happy birthday! Let's just, uh, beat up this guy real quick. Oh. That happened. Oh, there's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I'm in absolute danger. Oh, there you go. I was impaled by drown. I can get my shit back. Ah, fuck you! I spawn right here! I can get my shit back! Wait, do the drown just disappear as soon as that happens?
They all just disappeared. Yeah, absolutely. Someone built an Among Us underwater too. Just built a crewmate underwater as well. This is probably where Death Strider would have been really good, actually. Yeah, I still have my stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I still have my uh, fishing rod, my my shield, my journal and everything. Oh my god, okay. Anxiety struck? Fair enough, fair enough. Wait, do I have my boat, though? I still have my boat, too. <laughs> Your durability. Yeah, my durability is, like, garbage. <laughs> I have... I have basically nothing. Rip levels? It's fine. It, it's 44 levels gone, sure. But, like... Fishing for, like, an hour instantly gives me, like... Instantly? It's fishing for an hour. Fishing for an hour, like, gives me... So many levels. Like... Ooh, okay. Uh... Because I've gotten to level 40, like, three or four times now. Uh, and it's purely from fishing. And now that I'm down to level 7, you can actually see how quickly I can gain levels out of this. It's crazy. Also, nobody's going to sleep, bro! You're protected from attack by other players as long as the inventory is empty. Ah, okay. Thank you, permission system. Or I guess it's the claim system. I don't know. Uh, they implemented, like... Right, so this is actually Bardic's server, and uh, essentially they, they have a system where you can put down a claim, right? And just be like, hey, you can use like a stick to see what the claimed area is, and you can use a golden shovel to... Uh, change the size of your claim or like where your claim is add new claims and then you can use like these like there's commands here that you can do to like change who can interact in your claimed area unclaim or claim an area all that sort of stuff just need a gold shovel. They have that system in, so it's like a bit of a permission system going on as well. So it's cool. There is a problem though. Uh, with that, they essentially just like... Okay, what can I say? I don't know if there's like a more fine-tuned anything that can happen with the uh, permission system, but that also essentially means like if you're in say an admin area or like some other person's house, anything in there you can't interact with unless they give you like the trust, which at that point you can interact with most anything there. But If you, say, leave your horse, say you have a horse, right? And you leave your horse on an admin area. You want to put a leash on it? You can't do it. If someone, like, spawn, if, like, one of the mods or admins uh, spawn a lot of, like, say, cows or sheep and give you leashes, like, leads, so that you can take it back to your home, make a farm out of it. You can't do that as long as it's in an admin area. You can't even kill anything in an admin area either. Because, like, I still remember there was, like, Bard spawned, like, a bajillion chickens. Uh... Okay, this is just gonna put the information out there, why not? Uh, so, Bard put out, like, they put a lot of chicken 
on the KFC Fat 2D build. Uh, and then they casually suggested, hey, you can go ahead and kill those chickens, you know? Problem is, nobody can kill those chickens. Like, other than the uh, admin administrators of the server. Because of the permission system. We can't even use the donation box. Or, like, get bones so we can get a dog from the adoption center. Pe uh, people had to build workarounds for that. Like, uh, the admins had to build workarounds for that. So that... If you want to... If you... There's, there's an item that you need. You can, like, push a button and then get out of it to uh, get the item. Because you can't interact with the chests at all. So, yeah. It's all something you're going to find I'm in danger. Ooh, yeah. Be like that. Be like that. Root potion. Okay. Alex has been making a lot of progress lately. The plugin is configurable. Ah, uh, okay. Nostalgia goes burr. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know if there's like multiple plugins that you can use for the, uh, the whatever claim system that they have. All I know is it gives like it has, like, permissions and stuff. Uh, you put down a chest to have, like, a set amount of, uh... I know World Guard lets us put, put specific permissions for each zone. Ah, okay. Uh, someone might have to put that up with the, uh, mods of this server. So, yeah... I don't know what plugin they use. I might have to ask and then maybe either relay the information to you or just be like, I know you could probably ask him something if you know any of them, but I don't know exactly which plugin they use. All I know is I don't utilize it much. <laughs> oh my God. I do not utilize the uh, system much, if at all. So it's like, so many of my chests are unprotected. <laughs> oh boy. The only chest that's like, the only few chests that I think are protected is like the one that you find as soon as you enter my base. So yeah, gotta go you kitty, have a good stream. Alright Suki, you have a good one. And thanks for the follow earlier as well. Like, appreciate it. Oh wait, you didn't follow. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. So what does the champ also look like low for the fabric? The fabric mod starlight? <laughs> it's supposed to be just like a general star- Dillo disappears out of nowhere. Okay, I have my potatoes. I have my steak. I have my boat. I have my ultra fishing rod. I have my uh, sword that's like broken. It's still like raining. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for the follow. Uh, my brain had a lapse. I thought you had followed earlier. <laughs> nice. It's still raining a lot though. I wonder if you can just go to sleep again. Nope, you can't. Okay, let's let's go ahead and fish some more. Why not? So the drowned just despawn as soon as they're done killing the hell out of you. That's neato. To sneak. I already have a golden shovel, actually. Uh, you know, it's the logo for Starlight. It's like an MS Paint style star logo, too. Uh, wow, thank you. I appreciate it a lot, Suki. Uh, multiple arm hogs are quite something, though. 
There's so many like different kinds of hugs out there that I really like. It's great. And you have a good one? Okay, you have a good one as well. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I really do. So I can see the future. Oh boy. But yeah, Cinder, I don't I already have a golden shovel. I just don't use it. <laughs> Oh man, been sitting there all night. Uh, Ebadil, you've been sitting here all night? Really? <laughs> well, at least now you see what I do when it's like nighttime. <laughs> oh man. Like, bro, nobody sleeps in this server, I swear. Like, every now and then you'll have, like, if there's not too many people, you, like, have people going to sleep every now and then. Right? But... Nice. <laughs> you can only toss the line so far, I think. But, yeah. No, not a lot of people sleep in, in this server. It's like... They're either the nether are busy doing something. Made a fishing dock? Make a fishing dock? I could! I just really like being in a boat. <laughs> I could get some, like, wood and then make, like, a dock. But, like, a floating dock, too, I think. It's not gonna look the prettiest, but it's gonna be something. I can't remember to sleep whenever I'm near my home. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a better man for it, honestly. Because, like... So many people, and only like one or two of them actually go to sleep. So it's like, ah. Uh... It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Ooh, level gained. Yeah, I'm already level 9. <laughs> it, it gives me so much experience, and it's like, bruh. It's fantastic stuff, honestly. But yeah. Shit, what was it that I was gonna say? Uh, Dodge actually gave me, like, a golden shovel. Because they were... They were concerned that... I, uh, would not have, like... People can come in at any time and just steal my shit, right? Fought some phantoms the other day? Ah, okay. Like, they were worried that I would have my shit stolen at some point, where the more important stuff, uh, I already have in my center chest. So I don't need to worry about that too much. So there's that. But, yeah, they gave me a golden shovel, and it's been in one of my chests. For like the past few days now. I haven't actually changed the uh, space that I have claimed. And I don't know how much I would claim anyway. Because I have a farm on top. And then the rest of my base is just down under. So yeah. And the layout might change sooner or later too. Who knows. It's like, ah. But yeah, I fought some phantoms the other day. I thought I slept enough. Yeah, it'd be like that. I don't think I've had phantoms on me, like, yet. But, ah. Uh, wouldn't really know now, would I? I think Barb was commenting on it too. Like, they they heard phantoms at some point, and uh, was like, "Oh, I hear someone not going to sleep." And I hear like, if you do bonk them, you get some good shit, but it's really good shit in that you can actually like fix the elytra, which, uh, I assume nobody has at the moment of glass. How many Nautilus shells have you got? Probably a lot. 
Like, here alone I have eight. Uh, I could probably do, like, a total count of Nautilus shells, uh, once I get back to my base. I wish I had some of the mods from, uh, Lemon Server, though. One of the mods is, like, a one-click... They draw Phantom Membrane. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, I, I have heard. Uh, the, uh... Better way to mend your light to restore it, put mending on it. Ah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I got one, I know what to do with it. Apparently it's for mending the elytra. Which, uh, little wings that you can get to fly around the place, but nobody... The end is closed off. Nobody can get the elytra right now, I think. Unless they somehow bypass that, or they end up just, like, hacking one in. I don't know. However you do that in Minecraft, I don't know. But yeah, the phantoms drop a membrane that you can use to mend the elytra. And apparently mending is a better way to do it. Yeah, they closed it. Someone beat the ender dragon, like, almost immediately after the server was opened. I don't know if it was almost immediately, but like a day or two after the, uh... The uh, server opened up. Someone actually went and beat the Ender Dragon before anyone else, and Bard wasn't too jazzed about that. So they went ahead and closed the end, and uh, apparently they're gonna open it for like as a sort of big special server event that everyone can do. I'm not sure if I'll be ready for it. I don't even have diamond armor. All I have for diamond is a diamond pick. And I've only just now saw, at least for one space, that you can actually get a good bit of diamond from uh, mining away a whole lot of tough. So, ah. Uh, I don't have too many. Dude, half of the diamonds I have now is probably because I've been trading, uh, like, shit. Like, it's either books, it's either really good, like, rods, it's either... I've gotten, like, three diamonds from someone who wanted three name tags, like, straight up. I didn't, I legit didn't know that name tags were that rare or, like, that, like, valuable, I think. Because I've been fishing, and in the few days that I have been fishing, I've gotten almost a whole stack of name tags. I think I have a few right now. Yeah, I have five name tags on me right now. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, it is what it is, yeah. Oh, god damn it, some sweaty dipshit always does that whenever a streamer opens a server. So, yeah, it, it seems to be the case, doesn't it? Like, people already, like, before I even joined in, people already had netherite armor and shit, and it's like, bro, how even? Hi, Carlos, hope you're doing well. We're just sort of chilling in Minecraft and doing a whole lot of fimshin. Just a lot of fimsh. I say fishing, but it's more of a case of like... I've just been getting a whole lot of rare... Like, I've just been getting a lot of treasure. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. But yeah. People have ended up making netherite gear. And enchanting the shit out of them. So yeah, I think Cicada is one of them, actually. Okay. It's going night time, let me just go. Oop, hello. Nice. By the way, uh, Amadillo, if you wanna, like, go bed, uh, they made it so that there's just... A bunch of beds in here, so feel free to take one. Feel free to uh, grab a spot. Boink. Oh, there's two of three. Okay. Okay, so it reminds me of Snowy Server, where him and the mods even openly said they were going to do the dragon fight as an event once everyone had time to get prepared, and someone went and did it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. So, some people just are like, okay, speed run time.
They go ahead and are like, oh, they open up a micro server. Let me just flex on everyone by beating the Ender Dragon in like the very first day. And I'm like, sure, buddy. Sure. This mean one is basically power armor from Fallout. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Oh. Someone aggravated a squid, I think. Up. Oh. But yeah. It's funny because like you'd imagine I would have like a lot of time to prepare, right? Like at this point I probably would have gotten like some form of netherite or something, but Nope, not much luck now is there. I have basically just been fishing a lot. I've basically just been farming and giving cake to everyone. You could trade for all of that. I know, I know. I have traded before too. Uh, people have given me diamonds for like god rods and shit. And name tags too. So I can definitely do that. That's how I got like half of the diamonds that I have now. <laughs> it's Mining for diamonds is hard, okay? Especially in 119, apparently it's not that easy to get diamonds. And just for myself, I uh, I decided one night I would just like mine all the tough in one area. Uh, I hit bedrock a lot, but I did get like, what, five or six diamonds out of it? So yeah. I have a diamond pick though. I could definitely like fortune three that shit i probably have the fortune three or some shit on it i just need to use it so yeah because right now i have an iron pickaxe which is like halfway through breaking already but i also have a diamond pickaxe so there's that which i wanted to enchant Pretty sure you'd love the Go Fish mod. Has different fish to the biomes and fishing loot like the fishing crates of Terraria. Ah, okay. That's cool and all, but the problem is because I'm like basically just play, just made my home in Bard server for the moment, I don't think I can actually use that. Because it seems more like a server side mod, which, uh,. This server isn't. This is a vanilla mod, and this is a vanilla server, and Bard wants to keep it that way. So, yeah. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. It needs to run server side, too. Yeah, Bard's, Bard's not gonna go for that. So, yeah. They've actually said it before, like... Hey, I am ki I'm gonna keep this vanilla, okay? I don't care what, like, other people say about- Can you add this mod? No, it's gonna stay vanilla. Then, like, everyone stays in survival, too, because everything is riskier that way. Which kinda sucked a little, because there was a point in time I was gonna make cake for, I think, Cicada, and I did make the cake for Cicada in the end. But someone was running from a witch uh, for the last couple of times. I can appreciate vanilla. Ooh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But, yeah. Ah, shit. What was I saying? I need to drink water. I'm talking a lot and it's a... Uh... Who oh boy? Oh yes. Water. I'm your usual surfer who wants to be someone who likes their tough enemies and difficult combat as a curse. Ah oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. It can be like that, honestly. <laughs> Imagine RL, RL Craft. <laughs> RL Craft server is just. 
you die every five seconds because everything goes for the head. I've never actually played RL Craft, the RL Craft mod. Don't think I will anytime soon, honestly. It just doesn't seem like a mod I'd vibe with. Like, if you like stuff hardcore, then yeah, but... <laughs> Pre graphics is my favorite mod. I see. Optifine be like that, though. This isn't even like... It's like Optifine, but then you put the BSL shaders on. I'm pretty sure this is BSL shaders. So, yeah. It looks very pretty, yeah, but I'm probably gonna keep it this way. I'm not gonna add like a texture pack on it that gives like super HD like graphics or anything. So yeah, I I still like my Minecraft looking graphics. <laughs> oh man, there's a there's a child. I uh, yeah, I use the bushy uh. I used a Better of Leaves uh, resource pack. That's what Adam suggested anyway. But apart from that, yeah. Well, not that cursed mod pack. I hear ya. Meanwhile, here the meanwhile here there's a rare variant of skeleton that can just make your armor drop up on head. Uh in the uh, SMP server that you're in? Cause cause that sounds like work. RLCraft is the kind of hardcore difficult that's the result of bad game design. <laughs> oh man. I hear you, Hyper. Good god. That's uh that's something, isn't it? Oh shit, I'm packed. Okay. I legitimately can't get any more stuff right now. Oop. Just gonna go back and like get some stuff then. Also, Fimsh. I've actually heard, I think I've seen a video on RL Craft, and that's how I know about it. It's just like, oh yeah, it's a pretty, uh, it is a pretty cool mod, you know? Individual parts of your body have like this health thingamajig and if you get hit in the head you die instantly. And armor, you need to actually level up to uh, even use the armor. So there's that. And like, they added a bunch of other mobs too. Which just like... Oh man. Oh, man. It's it's the kind of mod, essentially, that's just like... Oh, you don't think some of the mods out there are hardcore enough? You don't think Minecraft is hardcore enough and you want the challenge of challenges? Uh, here you go. Have a, have a mod that basically anything and everything can and will kill you. And there's not much you can do about it unless you, like, fish for five hours. Keck. <laughs> oh, man. It is what it is. But also, it's definitely not one of those mods that I'll be using anytime soon. <laughs> oh, man. Also, okay, God, look at all the redstone I have. I've been mining for a bit. I have so much redstone. And then, like, way too much cobbled deep slate. I put my uh, personal diary there. And, like, 43 iron. Like, gold. And also, there's a golden shovel. Uh, this is where I've been keeping my gifts. <laughs> so, yeah. Like the reaper that can spawn when you die. Or the reaper like thing that's just as dangerous and it can spawn when you try to sleep. Or the does something and then screw you over big and then just spawn randomly. Just need an XP for enough HP upgrades and that challenge is gone. Ah, uh, I see. You basically just... You basically just get rid of the challenge by becoming a fucking tank. <laughs> Is that so? Cause my god. <laughs> just just become a tank lol. It is what it is though. It is what it is. Uh okay. So yeah, I I just have a bunch of stuff. 
Uh, I just have bones. I just have a bajillion wooden swords. I have the golden shovel that a, a Dutch gave me. And then I have two of these premium water tube boosters. And then two of these dirt. And then two of these bitten cake. Thanks, two dimensional. Very cool. And then Adam gave me a bunch of stuff and a cookie. And then someone gave me, like, I think it was Icy who wanted three uh, name tags. And I was like, you know what? You can just have them for free. And they gave me a powder snow bucket, which I don't know what to do with that. But it's there and it's neat. So, yeah. Oh, it's going nighttime already. Okay. Sleeping through the night, okay. There you go. I should probably raise the ceiling on this one a little bit. Just maybe, just maybe. It is what it is though. <laughs> Fucking dinner bone dude. <laughs> look, at this, look, look, look at this dude. Look at this dude. Just chillin'. And then you have- why- I don't know why Storm is just standing on top of the fence, but sure. And then- okay, so funnily enough, before I, uh, logged in again, someone actually put a sign up here saying OSHA violation like and then basically the reasoning was I have way too many mobs in one area and uh, you can kind of see the, uh, the absolute mess that what this is so yeah let me just like see if I can push on Storm, get get out of the fence. Off off the fence. There you go. I have so many chickens. I need to expand my area a bit, at least for the sheep, so that they can actually eat grass. Look look at that. Also, my shears are, like, almost dead. Adam swung by, like, today, and was like, Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna take the name tag from you, and then give you some stuff, right? And as soon as they looked, o looked over here, they just went to- they just lost all of their frames. And it's like, I'm sorry. materials if I go like slightly far away the cows just get the farm animals just get completely silenced because of the audio mod that I'm using. It's backpacks and extra crops and food items. Ah, I see. Fair enough. 
I don't think I've been around those mods actually. I've just been playing vanilla Minecraft for most all of my life. So yeah. And I say vanilla. Uh they checked and I already sold it. F oof pain. And I say vanilla because uh, Lemon Server was like yeah, they had a whole like mod pack. But it was more just like things like auto fish and like an inventory management thing. I should probably install mouse tweaks, but I'm like a week away from going back to the US, so I can probably do it then. Uh, it's like a bunch of stuff going on, you know? And the base game itself, I don't think, was actually modded. It was just on top of- it was just, like, client-side mods on top of vanilla. Mouse tweaks is good. I should have gotten mouse tweaks at some point, but my dumbass didn't. Okay, there's that. Two Vanish Curses and one Binding, oh my god. So is Mouse Tweaks the one? Because they don't really... I don't think they really said much of anything about Mouse Tweaks uh, in the actual description for the mod. Per se, is Mouse Tweaks the one where you can like basically uh, like one button like one or two buttons and your entire inventory is resorted or is that another mod because like I tried looking for that got my shears like almost completely broken so that to put a fence on top of the water in the farm works really well ah okay neato That was a different one, but I could also be wrong. Fair enough. That's inventory tweaks. Ah, okay. Then I might get inventory tweaks uh, after I go back to the US. Because I'm a week away from, like, going back to the US, right? So it's like, mmm. I mean, install Minecraft or get Curse Forge again and then do that. In inventory management a bit better. Fair enough, fair enough. Also, Monument of Piss. It's just a huge-ass toilet. <laughs> it's just it's just a giant-ass toilet that I made out of cobbled deep slate. <laughs> Do you, do you guys like the Monument of Piss? Oh, absolutely, Amadillo. Makes life so much easier, you know? Look at that, look at that beautiful toilet, though. Hmm, yes. Beautiful. Absolutely stupendous. Absolutely wonderful. Hi Swift, hope you're doing well. Turlet. <laughs> ah man. Also, I don't know who, but someone put like this single lava block here. And then someone else built a crewmate right beside it. I don't know why this is a thing, but it's here. But yeah, hope you're doing well, Swift. That could have been that if there was no water. I wonder if inventory tweaks is available for uh 119 though. I think that was a thing in uh Lemon Server, but 
At the time, I didn't know too much about version numbers. Uh, oh, you have your own boat now, huh? Nice. Oh, I see a saddle over there. Oh, are those supposed to be mine? Because I know I had a full inventory before this. Yoink. There you go. Ah. But yeah, I could check... Uh, actually, no, I have a week, so I'm playing this almost every day. I could go ahead and check, uh, because I need to make space. Fair enough. Dude, I think I, by now, just have enough saddles to just start a stable. All I need are more horses. <laughs> oh, God. I think the only thing with it, though, is that... Horses in the server are, like, incredibly hard to find. It's it's the same with cows, too. I don't know what, like, I don't know what the seed, how the seed is in this uh, world. But, like, I had to go, like, so far away from home just to find, like, a pair of cows. And then I, like was in so much peril trying to get those two cows back because I wanted to have a few cows at the farm, right? And it's like, ah, pain, agony, disdain, torture. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Oh yeah, Bart did say that, didn't they? I remember Bart saying that they did a bit of a mass exodus and went overboard, which is why there weren't any cows. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, like in this area, in this like, there's a huge just area, in like, you won't find any cows that spawn. You won't find any cows like even after. Uh, you have to go really, really far out into the fields just to find cows. So it's like, break. But yeah, if they if they did do a mass exodus, they uh, kind of almost make it what they made it go extinct. <laughs> like at least in this biome, I think I don't know. You have to go like a thousand blocks somewhere almost just to find cows. It's ridiculous, and almost the same for horses. But I was able to find horses nice and fine still. Someone might must have gone on a killing spree again. <laughs> I see. Dude, I don't think I found any cows around the starter town when I was there. The the thing is, even if you do find cows around the starter town, if you want to get any back. It's a swarm of cows in the wild too. That's fair, that's fair. Bardic life soon, I am aware. It doesn't prevent them from spawning. You'd imagine that would be the thing, but like... Having too many mobs does? Fair enough, fair enough. You'd imagine, but I couldn't find any cows nearby the uh, starting, like, town. Like, I only find sheep around where I am. And it's like, bruh. And even if you do find a cow around, say, the starting town, right? Um, you, you can only, like, bring it with you, I think... If uh, it's not, like, locked in somewhere and you have wheat. Because more than likely, you won't be able to uh, interact with them at all because of admin permissions. So, yeah. Again, I don't know what, uh, like, claim system thing they're using. But whatever it is, they, 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 need, they need to work out the kinks. Like... You can't even use the donation box there because of admin perms. It's like, it's ridiculous. And I initially wanted to like, oh, I think that's icy. I initially wanted to uh, like start making stuff and putting stuff in the donation box, but it's not possible. Nobody other than the admins can actually interact with that shit. 
so it's just there for decoration. Well, for everyone in the server, anyways. Not the one, not the people with the red names. If if you're in this uh, server and you have a white name, that that donation box is just for decoration. If you work around Psycho Hoppers, but I guess I'm too busy with other things so far. 2D actually made uh, hoppers and stuff for a few things. Uh, I was actually with them when they were uh, showing off the, uh, like, the uh, adoption center where they have just, like, a bunch of wolves that you can uh, tame with bones and then take with you. Uh, but when I tried to open up the chest, I didn't have permission for it because admin perms so they had to make like real quick a hopper that actually spawns bone that actually like throws out bones so that you can actually do that and the market is the same way too you put stuff in so that it spits the uh, equivalent back out right but they also put villagers there, and you can't interact with the villagers. All you can do is just look at them. Because if you try to, like, right-click on a villager, right, like, to uh, trade shit, um, you can't. You, uh, I don't think it's admin perms at a point. It's just because 2D doesn't have, didn't give permission to anyone for that. So... Yeah. And again, I don't know what the uh, system here is. Uh, and it's not like I'm an admin or anything. I'm just a dude going around fishing in Minecraft for way too long. See, I'm already level 18. What the fuck? Uh, but... I don't know if the mods can do anything about that, but for now, anything that's in the uh, admin space or made by, like, someone else, like one of the uh, moderators, uh, we're, we can't interact with that. So, yeah. Going back to the cows, though, I was super glad that I was able to bring the cows in and then, like, start up an little farm of my own uh, I can make cake now I can just make a whole lot of cake so yeah and if I just like if I just like go ahead and make three more buckets then that just doubles cake production whenever I want to keck not that I think I'm going to anyways. What What is that? Ah, okay. Kill him on is called Catalyst. Okay. But yeah. That's also why I was a little bit hap- That's also why I was a little bit happy too. Because at the time I had two leads. Uh, I was able to bring the cows over with the leads and like... Some wheat over to Adam's farm, which a uh, much bigger farm than mine, by the way, and it's also a public one, so anyone can interact with it. It's unclaimed, you can open up the chests there. I put in a chest full of beds there because nobody sleeps in this server, fuck's sake. Uh, but I decided, hey, like, Adam, you don't have any cows in your uh, farm, do you? Because... I can help with that. I have a bunch of cows and I can give you like a pair so you can like later on breed them and just have them for when someone wants to uh, get cows or get milk or something. When I'm working on off stream later, I'd be down to see. I'd be down to see. Uh, if you want, you can post the coordinates uh, in my uh, like DMs if you want. So yeah. And I'm guessing you know how to do coordinates. It's just you hit F3 and then you look at like the XYZ value. That's it. But yeah. Dead 
definitely DM coordinates so I can see. Who knows, maybe I'll even give you some cake if it's nearby your base. Gonna let you in, basically, inconspicuously walled it off. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I can DM you about it later on, then. So, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah. All I'm saying is, permission system broken. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't tell you what happened with my cows, did I? Because, like, it was probably, like, a good thing that I gave Adam the cows, right? Because now they have, like, a lot of cows in their public farm. So... I log into Minecraft one day, and I see, like, all of my shit's there, but, unfort but then all of my cows are gone. Like, every single one of them. And I'm like, wait, what happened? Turns out someone, like, went through my, uh, base, and there was a tree there which basically let, like, mobs into the cows, into the cow farm. And one of them was a witch, and they poisoned all of my cows. And then they just died. So I had to go and fight, like, lag to get like two cows over because my first experience of trying to get cows terrible like just straight up awful so I went ahead and just like leashed two cows tied them over with the uh, uh, lead and then grabbed a bit grabbed a bit of weed replanted them and then bred a few cows over at Adam's farm as a sort of like the don't be a dick replant what you pick sort of thing right and then I went ahead and got back my cows so that was pain I wanted to ask Cicada because Cicada was in and was like hey by the way any chance you can give me like a pair of cows since you know, admin and whatnot, but they couldn't help me with that. So yeah. I don't know if it's a case of like only the uh, server owner can like push others into creative, but Cicada couldn't help me with that so I had to like just go and nick the cows on my own. It is what it is though. It, it took a lot of time, yeah, but it is what it is, you know? Level 20, let's go. Hi, Amadillo. <laughs> Hi. Hey, let me, what's my inventory look like? Ah, uh, looks fine. Probably gonna install it after I'm done playing my mouse tweaks and uh, inventory tweaks. I'm gonna see if I can like get them later on. It should be a. I hope it's available for one nineteen. I know mouse tweaks is. I just never installed it. But yeah. Hi there, Sing Fox. Welcome into the stream. Hope you're doing well. Also, I'm like going hungry. This is usually the time that I like eat dinner so <laughs> I am hungry don't think I've had too much to eat today but yeah uh so Amadillo apparently there's like an inventory tweaks renewed that someone was working on So, up oh, there, there seems to be an instance of PvP. There is a new inventory tweak that someone was working on, but I don't know if it's 119 compatible. I'd have to go to Curse Forge and see exactly what's going on. Okay, one more pull and then I go to bed.
So yeah. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Sing Fox. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I see he's got the it spreads as well. Nice. That one's only up to 116. Ah, I see. I did see that, yeah. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Uh, after I'm done with the game, I can go ahead and jump into the uh, Curse Forge mod stuff and see if there's an updated version of Inventory Tweaks. Because, dude, Inventory Tweaks was honestly so good. Like, it was genuinely fantastic. On a 117 server, though? Ah, I see. Yeah, this one's running on 119. I don't know if there's anything like it for that. Gotta look at the old map for what was all in there. Ah, I see. I don't think uh, the Caves and Cliffs update was a thing when I played last year on a Lemon server. Only recently, it was like more recent, I think. And and by more recent, I mean in the past year, which uh, by no means is that recent. But it came out with the Warden, the Deep Dark, the Caves and stuff. And the really nice music from like a bunch of like artists. It's great. I especially love Rena Lena Rain's tracks. It's great. The game is fancy with the realistic water. Uh, it is very much a shader thing. Uh, I use Optifine, and you can, uh, once you have Optifine up and about, you can actually just, like, set shaders. I'm using the BSL shader. That's what's giving the realistic-looking water. So, yeah. I don't use much else in the way of resource packs, though. Uh, I don't want to use a texture pack to just make it entirely HD. It's, I like the mix, you know? I like the mix. This guy's definitely like, fancy as fuck though. Yeah, cool. Okay, you know what? Let me just like, eat something for now. I'm probably going to be streaming for two hours today. This is meant to be more of a short stream. I just wanted to stream Minecraft for a little bit. You know? The fox is cute. Thank you. Though, I'm I'm not sure if this guy is necessarily a fox. It's just, it's just doggo. It's, it's just a canine fursuit avatar. May as well just be a fursuit. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad you like it. It is definitely adorable. Uh, Beetle did a really good job. This is a bubblegum bark base, and it's adorable. The eyes are cool. Uh, thank you. Hetero Heterochromia has been a thing on my avatars for a while now, and I really enjoy it. It's really cool, what can I say? I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a plushie too. But it's a uh, it's an Avali plushie, so yeah. Wow. Hi, Lego. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow as well, Saint Fox. Welcome to the Player Squad. Sorry, I'm like eating dinner right now. I'm hungry, okay? Well, so yeah, morning, morning, Lego. I had a feeling you just woke up, honestly. Now it's probably like 
morning time for everyone who usually frequents my stream. I like a few evening ones too. God, time zones are very weird. But yeah, hello there, Hyper Beast. Hope you're doing well. We're just doing some mine and craft. Is what I would say if it weren't for the fact that I'm just fishing the entire time. You know, I haven't actually been to the deep dark. So, I don't know how exactly it is. Apart from I've heard the warden is scary as fuck. So there's that. Oh yeah. Dude, I've hit bedrock and I haven't hit the deep dark. So, yeah. Hello. Do you have any games on your phone? Do you have any diamonds in your inventory? Okay. <laughs> Someone, someone redeemed the big, so I'm just gonna be big for a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, I've yet to hit the uh, deep dark. I've been in bedrock for a long time. <laughs> Ma, there's a weird dog on my screen! <laughs> oh, man. That video's great. The fact that there's a whole series of those videos, too. <laughs> Hyper. Hello. Ah, oh, man. Finding diamonds is really hard with the new world gen. Fair enough, yeah. A few people pointed that out, I'm sure. The new world gen makes it really hard to find diamonds. And you have to go so much deeper, too. But yeah. Yeah, they are. That's, that's kind of the aesthetic of this one. Bwah. Does they kind of clip through? Yeah, it seems to be the case with this one. But it is what it is. It is a, like a thing that you can set in Unity. That you can have it have these big fangs or not have the fangs. I just decided I wanted them. So yeah. There's that. But yeah. You wanna know something funny? I tried looking for iron by doing the old fashioned, oh, I'm gonna mine for iron thing, right? Didn't work. I only got four iron and I also got four diamonds. So it's just like, ah. And then it turns out to actually find iron, you have to either go very high up or dive into caves which is where all the iron is now apparently so that's cool it's a shader of once the clipping very visible yeah it's very likely I like using outlines it's kind of my entire aesthetic but it can definitely like fuck with some avatars Toscas especially because of the way they do fluff on their avatar. I'd be down for that, yeah. 
For now though, I have no use for it. So, maybe later. I'll let you know. What's my thing looking like? Packed almost. If I do go mining, I'll probably try and look for some more diamonds. Can never have enough diamonds, you know? Time. Yup. Dog. Hi there, old pal. Welcome in. Welcome in. I am, in fact, dog. Okay, I'm just unbig now. Yeah. But yeah. Am dog. Hope you're doing well, dude. Hope you're doing nice and fine. Welcome to the stream. Also, just look at that. People. You are soft? I'd say so, yeah. I've got a big old poofy mane. And I am, for the most part, friend shaped. I'd say I'm soft. But yeah, hope we're doing nice and fine. I mean, hey, we'd probably get together to see if we can get out of the fucking back rooms. So... Yeah. I have, like, so many sonas at this point that it'd probably be easier to find my sonas than it would be the scary. So, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Bard really mean- people really mean it. Like, not just Bard. When I, they, like, say I have too many sonas because holy shit, do I have a lot of sonas. This is why form shift is a thing. It is kind of funny to see, like... I'll definitely hydrate, yeah. Thanks for the hydrate, Lego. Super appreciated. It is funny to see, though, like, some people... going around and using the form shift so I change it to, like, one specific avatar, like, without fail. And, uh, like, recently in the, uh, marathon streams that I did, it's been the protogen. And people would come in, and they have enough points for a form shift, right? And they immediately, like, go for the protogen. And then... <laughs> Prude. And then they just go, cute protogen. And then just go silent. And then they come back and see that I uh, changed avatars again. Like, then I could probably, like, go into another avatar right now, right? Like, I could probably go into my uh, plushy uh, Avali. They'll come in and be like, you're not a protogen anymore. I've, I've had that happen. It's hilarious. Thank you for the follow, Paul Alter Eltaloon. Uh... I hope I got that name right. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the content here. <laughs> no fruit. Noot. <laughs> noot, noot. <laughs> oh, man. It is what it is. I have a lot of avatars. I don't go into my protogen too much. I do go in it every now and then. 
but it's my will. Uh, I just have a lot of avatars. Just call me Opal. Absolutely, dude. Where did- where even did I put that? But yeah, thanks for the follow, Opal. I super appreciate it. And there you go. Hi, Kev. Like the rock? Ah, okay. I'm mean, gonna have to say Opal a lot. So, I don't really know how to pronounce it too well. But I guess that's the thing with English. There's like a five different ways to pronounce it and then people dispute. People have disputes over how you're supposed to pronounce the damn thing. English is broken. But yeah, thank you for the follow, pal. Super appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the content. Today is more of like a shorter stream, so there's that. But yeah, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Cute protogen. Yep, basically like that, Kev. Now I disappear. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, you can call me Borb. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I'm fine with whatever. Yeah. That's what let me know, though, because I'm Burb. Oh, yeah. I I noticed. I uh, looked at your uh, emote, and I see that's, like, your emote. It's very nice. I like it. Also love the blue Burb, too. It's very nice. I like... Box Sam. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, just Sam in a box on a Sam. Why not? <laughs> I like it so much. Oh, hey, Simmer's here. Now there are two protos. <laughs> yeah. My emotes are cursed. <laughs> I mean, hey, we uh we like our cursed emotes here, okay? We really do. <laughs> oh, I love them so much. When it fit, it sit. Hey, yeah. Uh... Fair, fair. I'm a, I'm a ass simmer. <laughs> yeah, fucking, fucking love that. <laughs> Consume! <laughs> oh boy. People have been like going around commenting on like just how cursed the uh, tentacle combination can be. And it's like, ah. It is what it is, you know, it is what it is. But yeah. But Simmer is such a good friend of mine though. I, I do sometimes wish, like, some of the people I hang out with, I could, like, just hang out with them on, more, a, li a little bit more on, like, stream sometimes. Because they've only been on, like, once or twice on my streams, right? But, like, they're always such fun to have. It's always a great time, but they're rarely on, because, like, they just wake, they just wake up... Or they're busy doing something else because a bunch of them do retextures and they have commissions to work with. Which, by the way, I do commissions as well for retextures. Uh, except for the avatar you're looking at right now, mo pretty much every other avatar I have on me, and you'll see, you can actually see all of them in VR chat. Uh, I made the textures myself. So, yeah. Comms are open. But. They're like busy doing that. They either wake up, they're already like trying to start their day and I'm just here streaming like, hey, you want to join in? Or they have work. Or you know, they're hanging out with someone else. 
So yeah. <laughs> Ain't that a combo? Oh my god. Good lord. Okay. But yeah. There are a few regulars that pop up on my, uh, like, via chat streams, but yeah. People have life. I like I work right now. I would hop into Minecraft. I hear you, Dudamus. I hear ya. Also, hi. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for commissioning me, by the way. It's super generous of you. It really is. But yeah. I recognize that. That's why I try not to make like a huge fuss over it. Only only as a joke. It's like I'll go up to them and be like, why won't you hang out with me on stream? But I know that they have their life. They need to do stuff IRL, right? And it's like it's completely fine. I don't make a fuss out of it, like at all. Because it's just life, you know? But I do wish I could, like, hang out with them more, at least on stream as well. But... Life gets in the way sometimes. But yeah, I always pop up when it's sleepy time. It'd be like that, though, Amadillo. It'd be like that. Some people also don't like having to watch their words due to stream rules. Ah, eh, that's fair, that's fair. And I kind of understand that, too. Oh, okay, I'm almost, like, entirely full. Let's all just, like, go to bed. And then just, uh... E. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I definitely hear you on that point, Dudemus, because there are, like, some things I probably would say in private that I don't see on stream. But also... Oh, shit, is that a glow squid? Okay. I actually want to go after that glow squid. Hold up. You! Give me your... Okay. Yeah, glow squid. I could probably just like, could have captured it or something, but... I want to get the glow, uh, the glow sack. Wait, so does that mean you can go in there and find the one thing we're drowning for? <laughs> uh-huh. It's fine though, it was like barely over water, I was fine. Hold up, let me just like put some of the fish in here. 64, 13, 31, uh, 4. There you go. Oh, you put some of the saddles away in this chest. Nice. I at some point contemplated, like, putting uh, glow ink on... If I ever get glow sacks, putting it on uh, the free bed sign. 
but also people probably won't read that anyways okay <laughs> like you dude you have no idea how many times i have told people hey i'm giving away free beds they're at the farm at spawn follow the signs and then you can get a free bed that you can put at your base and go to sleep every night instead of having phantoms fuck you over every single day because you don't go the fuck to sleep. But like, not a lot of people go to sleep here. It's like, pain. Let's just put the glowing sack there, yeah? <laughs> Both of you with the same brain cell. My god. Yeah. It is a little bothersome sometimes, but like... Then again... People at like... If you're in the server, in the, if you're in the Minecraft server, then yeah, here and there. I've been known to be a wuss. It'd be like that. Dude, there's a reason I haven't gone into the nether yet. I have so many enchanted books, but I have not gone into the nether once. So I don't have the we need to go deeper achievement here. Okay, fish for a little bit more and then we can like go. The nether's a whole lot of hassle for far too few benefits in my honest opinion. Fair enough, fair enough. It would probably be a little bit worth for the netherite, the netherite stuff. But the only diamond tool I have is a diamond pick. I don't have the armor, I don't have the sword or anything. So it's not really that worth for me. Oh, and glowstone, yeah. But I don't have any plans to use a glowstone anywhere. But you can't make another right fishing rod. That's the thing, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Be like that, dude. Be like that. Baba beep bap. Ah! Hi there, Samuel. Hope you're doing well. I like jack o' lanterns more than glowstone, though. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Why do you why do they keep disallowing that, bruh? Up, oh, thank you. Can make a netherite hoe though. Yeah, there's a there's a separate achievement for netherite hoes. Is the thing. Piss. Like up oh, piss. It's crazy. Automat doesn't know what context is. Yeah, Automat be like that. But yeah. Is it ho? Yeah, it was ho. You got automated because of the word ho. So apparently so many people use it as an insult that uh Automod thinks that anytime someone says ho, it's uh demeaning someone. Not a farming tool. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that sucked. Anyways. Casually goes back to fishing. <laughs> no, no worries. Just a creeper blew up in my face. 
Let's just go back to fishing real quick. No big deal. <laughs> oh yeah, I just read the entire thing. I see what you're talking about, Abadillo. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit like that is tempting me to turn down the automod again. Cause like, my god, dude. Hey, another news, I have my flight in a week now. So that's cool. But the thing is, mom and pops decided that we haven't been traveling at all lately, so they wanted to go places. So once I'm back, it's gonna be another week of getting on planes and going places. And uh, knowing how I usually go, so it's gonna be a bit stressful too. Ah! I enjoy traveling and going places, but uh,. Not when it's done in such quick order. Vacation, any person, speed run? Basically, dude, basically. And the thing is, if I tell him, when I tell him, hey, can we not? I I just want to be a potato for a while before university starts. They just go and be like, why, are you going to be lazy and not travel anywhere? What's wrong with you? You, go, you gotta go places. We're traveling. So... Even if they, so it's gone to a point where even if they ask anything, I know it's just asking is an illusion. They're going to try and get their way anyways. <laughs> and, and again, don't get me wrong, I, I love them, but like, holy shit, you guys need to chill sometimes. Do you enjoy your free time differently? <laughs> More or less, yeah. Like, I understand where they're coming from. Traveling is nice. Being able to see places is nice. But if we are gonna do that, I would much rather... Uh, that we just go on a winter vacation or something. Thing is, it would be much more relaxing, but at the same time, it would probably also be like, it would need a bit more planning if we all decided to go. Luca is just farming stream loots packs, oh my god. Oop. Welcome in. Welcome in, Luca. Hope you're doing nice and fine. Let me just open up my stream loots. I'm going to hedge my bets and say that you just woke up. Okay, there you go. Check your packs, dude. Check your uh, stream loads. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Find out in the next episode. Oh my god. Don't worry, dude. I This is not like a long stream or anything. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. It is what it is, you know? Because, uh... Even if... If I were to get my way, probably would be a bit expensive and like a bit of effort to get shit down and about for winter vacation, right? So they're just like doing it while they can. They're in the they're in the US, they may as well get a few like 
understandable. Have a day. They may as well get like a few uh, more tickets and go places, right? Sad thing is, it's kind of not my jam. Like, God, I use the alt and the numpad keys and it keeps typing shit in. It's kind of not my jam, like at least now. It used to be that I would go places, but now I've just kind of grown a bit tired of it. And I just want to relax before the next wave of studying hits me. You know? It's just one of those things. And much as I wish I could tell that to them, uh, I'll be real, I don't really expect them to listen all that much. Oh, fuck. Just beat him up real quick, no big deal. My sword's almost broken though. But yeah, it is what it is, you know. It also doesn't help either that there are other like a few choice things too. That just ends up being like hard to do, hard to deal with. When you have like no time between anything. Locale wants to see you on the flip side. Oh, okay. Let me just uh do that real quick. Hello, hit me. And and you can see the VC where the VC face cuts off because <laughs> Uh, because it's not full screen, so it's like, bruh. Oh, man. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. But yeah. I would enjoy going places. Just, uh, the problem is, when it's, dying, when it's done in like a speedrun quickfire fashion... I don't enjoy it too much. Then it's like... I don't know. I don't know how exactly to describe it, but I'm most of the time anxious when I'm with my parents traveling places. Because it's like, ah. Most of the time, their words go, so I let them do whatever, even when they ask me to, because I feel like I shouldn't really be in charge of any of this. I love you guys, but what the fuck? Okay. Back to this position. Ah! But that's that. The very least, I can go ahead and take photos. Bwah. Hello there, Cinder. Ah, uh, that's been another... Indeed, I do. What client are you using? Uh... I am on uh, CurseForge. So yeah, I'm using CurseForge for my mods. So yeah. I guess you could say it's a Forge client. And I'm on 119.
Oh. But yeah. Another sort of like bone of contention I've had. Taking photos. Because like everywhere they go. They try to take a lot of photos. And more often than not, they pull me into it, even though I don't actually want to be in the photos. I just want to sort of look at the scenery, read up on stuff, and just, in general, do whatever. And take my own photos, like the more scenic you photos. The cute bean known as Whisper is here. They're probably either asleep or at work. Because, uh... It's basically like morning time for them. So yeah. But Simmer is still here, oddly enough. So it's like, ah. Whisper may be around and about, but I don't really know. I doubt they just jump into my stream right after waking up though. It is what it is. But yeah, that's that's kind of been something I've, like, not been vibing Luca with. thinks you've been sitting for too long. Alright. <clears throat> stretch. Thanks for the stretch. But that's kind of been just, like... One of my other issues too, yeah? I don't take photos in my own time. I don't really like taking selfies or like just posing for other photos, but they insist that I keep doing it anyways. And I have like, at some points been like, can, can you don't? Especially when they like started insisting I keep taking off my mask over and over and over again. When I was feeling uncomfortable doing so. And it's just like, uh, uh. Hi, Amaro. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it a lot. But, yeah. It just makes me want to be in photos even less. What I'm saying is, traveling with them is stressful. <laughs> I'm out of cards. Fair enough. Parents learn your children's comfort zones challenge 2K22. <laughs> uh, basically, basically. Hmm. It's one of those problems of like, stop that is impossible, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. It really is one of those things of like, your child is incredible. Your child seems to be incredibly different from how you want them to be. Just jackhammer them into trying to be the way you want it. It doesn't work. Like, it just doesn't work and all it does is like create a rift between you and your kid. And it seems to be the case for quite, quite a few people here and there. Not dropping names for now, but I have seen some, uh... I have uh, actually experienced firsthand some parents that are like, eh, very questionable. And just doesn't want to cooperate when it doesn't, like, fit their narrative, you know? Which, uh... No, that's, that's not how you do it. That's just, that's just saying you don't want to deal with anyone else challenging your worldviews and you just want to keep doing what you want even if it hurts your kid. But yeah, it is what it is. And uh, I wish they like saw that and kind of started respecting it too. Like not try and push, pull me into everything they want to do. And being like, eh. Because when I 
Because the thing is, sometimes I'll look at something and I'll be like, hmm, I actually want to try that. Even if it's like, it looks a little backwards, right? Because say a VRcade. It's like, you already have uh, the entire thing of, you already have a VR headset, right? Why do you need to go to a VRcade? Because VRcades can sometimes give experiences you don't quite get in your own room. And boy oh boy, do I have to push a lot for that one. I had the honor of overhearing one of my childhood friends' mom giving him the whole I'm the only one you can trust speech. <laughs> oh god. That fucking thing, huh? If you're a kid, it's like... I guess. But like... When you grow older... It just like... Eh... The problem is, times change, and it seems like a lot of them don't want to acknowledge that at all. They don't want to acknowledge change. And in the end, end up trying to ignore the entire thing. It's like, oh, you people can change, and your children may be entirely different from you, simply by way of a... Uh, you know, how different the world itself can be, right? But they don't acknowledge that. Like, it's just, weh. And then, of course, the entire, I'm the only one you can trust. I have trust issues. I have more trust issues with my parents than I do with some of my friends. God, there's a reason that I have historically, like, Vented more to some of the people that I have met through VR and in the US than I have my own parents and That's also why like Oh god, of course the music kicks in too and That's also another thing of like why Especially when there's like change and stuff and like trying to like go for towards a different ideology and whatnot I have had moments with my buddies that I couldn't imagine having with my parents right now. Like if I needed a shoulder to cry on. Like literally cry. You know? Because uh, as many times I have cried in the past, when my, uh, when my mom came up to that, I was basically laughed at. I think there were like two moments where I was being like shamed in front of some other family as well. Like not the whole, like not a, someone else's family entire, just within the house. For like, ah, your son's crying, look at how weak they are. And I've just been told, just don't cry, don't cry, I hate it. Which, it's very toxic. I'll be blunt, it's very toxic. Like, just because you have a dick doesn't mean you can't cry. And I've had maybe one or two moments where they're like, hey, it's okay. But like, most of the time? That's why I've like basically embraced the ideology of, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, uh, mom's usually really nice, but the education system makes it... But just the entire thing with education and ambitions is just like, I hate it here. <laughs> the education system just makes everyone here toxic for some reason. Like, oh my god. The, the, uh, the push for success beyond success, like just beyond the 100%, is to me now a myth. Something that's only pushed because, I don't know, you want to, like, have some degree of success that you, you've only been able to imagine and not actually achieve. But yeah, I've had moments like those, and it got to a point where, like, I just kept silent about everything and never actually cried. I was just done with shit. 
Which is why it's a miracle that I am able to just, like, socialize, even, I feel. And, like, express emotion. Because I was very dead. My god. And I was burned out on everything at the time. Which is why as soon as I felt that I was not able to do something, I was like, Okay, I'm burning out. I need to tell my advisor about this. But yeah. That's going pretty off topic, I feel. But yeah, that's why I've, like, basically embraced the ideology of, uh, if you need to cry, just let off, just open up the waterworks, open up the dams. Like, be it out of happiness, out of sadness, because holding it back hurts. It hurts a lot. And... You're only doing yourself a favor if you let those out, really. So, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Is there is, yeah. It does feel like one, though. Because, like, there is something to be said about trying on your own to bring yourself back from, like, Whatever the hell that is, right? But, yeah. That's why I tell people, like, hey, it's alright to cry. And that's why I've, like, felt really... That's why I've felt really, really comfortable just, like, venting to my uh, friends, just being in VR. And then being really sappy in their arms. Than like my parents. A lot of other things too that I wouldn't tell my mom and dad ever. Like, come on. It's just, it, that seems to be kind of the common theme here. Like, for a lot of people. But. Emotional baggage is not something that I would want to really share with family, especially if it's something that would end up making me cry. Because, uh, oh, it's not manly. Well, if, like, showing emotion, if not showing emotion it is what defines, like, the ideal male, can I, can I cut my dick off? Can I, can I just trans female myself? <laughs> oh, boy. That's kind of why I just want to be like, normalize being able to show emotions, which a lot of people see here seem to be doing, and it's fantastic. And it's also such a breath of fresh air to see after whatever environment it is that Bangladesh has when it comes to raising your kids. And basically giving importance to a system that rewards memorizing everything, spitting it out and forgetting about it. Yeah, I have a lot of beef with the education system. Like, holy shit, my guy. Not particularly great, and uh... Anything like a B is just like... Unacceptable, even though B is supposed to be a good grade. But here we are. But that's just kind of been my story of sending us to start an industrial revolution mindset. Oh yeah, definitely. There's there's like so many videos on YouTube discussing that too. Like this exact same thing. Of just like education systems need to change, but they just don't. They're still the way they were in the industrial era. Oh boy. Almost like a lot of adults, if you, well, adults, if you think about it, because 
Boy oh boy are they resistant to uh, a change in their uh, ideologies. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, this is kind of why I feel a lot more... I've been also feeling really comfortable in VR than like... And I haven't been enjoying family time too much. As much as they want me to spend as much time as physically possible with uh, my family. Like, you know, meeting up with them daily, all that sort of stuff. I haven't been enjoying it too much. Or at least as much as they would want me to. More often than not, it's like checking out. And I would check in on a lot of people, like, on my own. And I'd actually feel good about it, but when present, when told to do so as if it was like a chore, it, it uh, again, it just feels like a chore. And that's been the issue for me a lot of the times too, is because you get told to do something so much that you kind of just don't want to do it. And uh, they don't really understand that. They just see that you're starting to be disobedient and they just tell you to do it harder. <laughs> it's also why I went to my academic advisor instead of uh, of that with chores too. Yeah. Yeah, that's also why I went to my academic advisor instead of my parents because I had a feeling mom would tell me like where if I said I'm burning out on say my cores uh, my mom would tell me do it anyway. The advisor tells me, take a break from the semester. You need to chill. So, yeah. If that's if that's not telling you what the mindset here is, ah, uh, boy. Don't tell me something I was trying to do anyway, so I suddenly don't feel like it anymore. Yeah, I hear you on that. Like... Chill is important for learning. I'd say so, yeah. I'd wager so. Okay, let's just put the fish back. And none of the- oh. Tropical fish. There you go. Sleep is super important too. Yeah, sleep is pretty important as well. I'm on vacation right now, so, well, my vacation's almost over, so, kek. What is that other- oh, it's just cobwebs. I may not be, like, giving myself too much sleep, but... We get processed a lot overnight. I... That's fair. That's fair. But yeah. I've I've realized over time that I really like to take take things slow. But Mum never caught on to that. I don't I don't think to an extent I don't think Pop did either. So they want me to do stuff it they wanted me to do stuff in like four years. When in reality it probably would have taken me like six. And then they want me to do masters immediately after. And then, you know, Learn to drive, get a job, uh, do stuff here and there. Just like a lot of things. I'm like, oh my god, can you shut up for a while? I will learn how to drive. Just stop telling me to do it every single day! Why you know whenever they call me? Always mock me for being so slow at doing things. Same here though, same here. Like, I'll try taking my time and they'll just keep telling me to speed up, even if I'm going as fast as I can. Or as fast as whatever the task is letting me. So yeah, it's a it's a problem with some of them too. Is like they're just not patient. In a few cases, not willing to give up power. Cause oh my god, ain't that a thing that seems to be a theme? <laughs> we still remember we had like an online doctor's appointment, and they were telling me. Hey, why is nothing working on this? Like, why isn't the cabin mic working? And I'm like, trying to like, 
break their hands free from the keyboard and the mouse so I can actually find out what's going on and change the settings, but they just wouldn't let go. So I just let them do whatever. And they gave up and did it on the phone. I did it on, mine was right up next, and I did it on my PC. Turns out it was in a little settings cog. I was able to change my mic and the camera nice and easy peasy. And then, Upload the uh, PDFs that they needed. It was easy. Also, hi Sunburst. What's going on here? How you doing? There, uh, is there something going on? Bam! <laughs> oh God. Nah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? I I would have been like ready for another yelling if it were. <laughs> I just want to tell you you're cute. <laughs> Thanks. But then again, then again, sunburst. Everyone cute. You know. You know. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> so you see. A photo with a candy just to say kitty. Yeah, on honestly, yeah, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Look, it's a Sam. Hi, <laughs> anyways, how are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. Just uh, having a. This is basically a rant stream with fishing in the bag. I've just been voicing a few frustrations I've been having. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's honestly nice. It's honestly nice to just like. Be real for a second, you know? Cause like... That was a noise. Cause like... Having like a nice chill like, Hey, we're gonna have some fun, stream is cool and all. But just being able to talk about some of the uh, issues one might have had in the past, or may still have in the present. And just... All that sort of stuff. It's a, uh, it's nice. It's refreshing to be able to talk about shit like this. Cause like, my God. So I miss the start orphan was orphan around me. Oh, you're fine, dude. You're fine. Don't worry about it. But yeah, it's growing pains. Basically, it's growing pains. Sadly, it's also the kind that uh, will probably lead into me uh, ignoring more and more calls from them, like my mom. Because that's another thing I've always had an issue with, like, especially near the end of my last semester when I was, like, completely burned down, burned out on academics and was not able to do anything whatsoever. And, like... I was being told over and over and over, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, why aren't you calling me, call me. Even in messages, and like, in various other places too, it's like, bruh, you're using messenger to tell me to call me. You can leave a text message. I read that shit. The insistence on always calling, just like, drove me away and when I did decide you know what I'm gonna call them by my own accord for once they shat on me <laughs> and I never called again yeah crazy isn't it all I'm saying is please take the effort to type there's a keyboard right there that you're using to tell me to call you type that Type it in, please. And I feel that, yeah. It doesn't ma it doesn't help that they wanted me to keep like a consistent daily call record of sorts. Like, no, I'm not gonna call you every single day. I had to actually have a stern talk with my mom because she just insisted on a call to tell me some crucial information instead of just writing it. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's honestly fair. 
it's especially tiring for me, especially because it was a text message. It had I have it black on white and won't forget it again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's written down somewhere. If you even if you do forget, uh, you can just you know look at it again. It stays there. If you can read the same, you are cute. Thank you. I am nice and rotund. Can't exactly say I'm not. But, yeah. It's just been growing pains, is all. And, uh, I guess these off-hour streams are, like, a good way for me to, like, vent about this stuff. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's off the usual path. I can, like, I, like, talk about a lot more stuff. A lot of the... All these stuff are also things I may as well, like, talk about in private, right? So, yeah. France has so much struggle with how rapidly life has changed. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, they can't keep up with change. And I've noticed this with a few people. Like, a lot of the ideologies only seem to work for when your kid's, like, 10 and trying to eat glue and uh, about to look up weird shit on the internet. It doesn't apply when they're like, I don't know, 18, 19, 20. They've learned like what to do and what not to do. They have their own struggles and all that sort of stuff. And like they've made their friends and so much stuff, right? And glue still tasty. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. But yeah, you get my point, right? It's like... Not being able to embrace that change and go with it and at least, like... See what your kids are on about and, like... Try and internalize that. Instead of hammering them into, like... The 80s, like... Impro the uh, 80s fucking interpretation of what a good kid, a good child should be, right? Like, I was at a bar while I got some old money wandering, and the guy was in privilege that I was single with, without kids if I had a full-time job. He was convinced that anyone with a full-time job could afford a kid, kid in house. That's, like, the big thing with, like, people nowadays. It's, like... Yo, they keep saying, hey, just get... They, it's like, yeah, back in the day, you could actually own a house with, like, a whole family. Disabled. Oh. Apparently, that's a thing. I, I hit tab, I hit like the slash button, and apparently that's a thing. Oh, it's the mod, isn't it? It just like stops if you uh, run out, okay. But yeah, I guess this is a case of like, the economy is so fucked up now that to be able to do that, it's just like, you have to have three jobs now. A lot of people saying get a job, they also grew up doing trans, you could get a job virtually anywhere by going in and asking. Yeah, that's not exactly a, a thing you can do now, is it? So it's just difficult. It's also one thing that's been keeping me from like, trying to, I don't know, get a part-time job in the U.S. Uh, even though mom keeps telling me over and over to, uh, especially during like the summer and whatnot, is just, I'm an international student, I don't have a social security number, what do you expect me to do? I have to like go through a lot of hoops to uh, do stuff and uh, I'm not sure like between like the stresses of everyday life if I even want to like try and go for that. Especially since at that time, university work alone and like just the pressure of 
having to succeed beyond success to sort of keep him like you know appeased it's just eh I've basically given up on that I'm like they, they say something and I'm like mm, okay and I'm not trying to appease you here anymore I'm just trying to live and as mean as that can be it's just how it is Well, let me put the fish back and then go fishing for a little bit more. I think I can go with that, actually. But yeah, times just change and people kind of just can't deal with that. Especially when it's as fast as it is right now. We're a constantly evolving world and uh, not trying to go with the flow, I feel at least, just means that you're just going to get left behind. And if you try to impose your old ideologies on someone, you just, you're not going anywhere. You're, you're, you're just not going to have a good time. I'm telling you right now. But yeah, it's just been growing pains. It's just been like kind of the way that things have been. Which is why I'm like so glad that, which is why like keeping my phone on silent the entire time was like so good. Because I had to, fucking hell, I get a heart attack every time I heard that fucking messenger ringtone. Good God. But like, keeping my phone on silent, like just apart from all the scam calls I've been getting for some reason because I don't fucking know what the hell kind of SIM card they gave me over there. But it's just been the quiet and silence has just been very, very relaxing. And not having to answer to uh, the demands of a higher up in your life. And by that I guess I mean in the social hierarchy. Is just the most relaxing thing ever. You know? I'm sorry but I could really use a lot less noise. Is basically what I'm saying. I'm not saying they're terrible people, but being stuck in old ideologies do that to you, I feel. It's just, it is what it is. And I wish they would kind of just learn that a lot of the things won't go their way most of the time these days. And if they're trying to expect, like... So to just oh hi there cider. If like they're trying to and if they expect that just saying stuff a lot is just gonna get me to be like obedient or something, no. If being a terrible child is how I can uh, get my way, I may as well. Like if I need to yell at people to like actually get them to listen to me. I'm going to fucking break the sound barrier. No, it's funny because it's not like, oh, it's a uh, it's dinner bone. You know, it's funny, it's not even like uh, I'm doing that because they have been like pressuring me into stuff. It's also a case of like at someone else's home too. Because here's the thing, I have had like moments where people would just try and give me a like, a lot of, like, 
like, okay, so I'd go to like a relative's house, right? And they would just be like, if it's like time for dinner or whatever, they try to give me a lot of food, which cool, appreciate it. Uh, but then it's like, you've had enough food, you've had your fill, but they keep giving you, and this has happened once, it's like, okay, set spawn. This has happened once, it's like, you hardly know, since you talk to him to stop really, but you everywhere you say in a quiet conversation across the room from, oh my god, okay. That's that's a bra moment right there. That is a definitive bra moment. But yeah. Like, that's my personal writing pad. Just gonna keep that. You know what? No, I'm just gonna keep that in here. But yeah. The thing is what do I what do I say? Uh and this is like the first time I've seen like, oh, I have to be a bad child to get my way sometimes. Is I was at someone's home. We it was like a gathering of sorts. I think I don't know, and I had a plate of rice and some meat, right? And I got done eating it. Someone came in without saying another word, gave me more rice. I ate that, gave me even more rice. I'm like, okay, this is like the most I can take. But I kept I kept trying to tell them no as like politely as I could, and and then like. I lost my top eventually, and I was like, Can you stop giving me food? I'm packed to the brim. I'm about to explode. Stop giving me food. Okay, not that big an outburst. I just said, no, here's your locker, by the way. I'll, I'll rant for a bit. And then mom, in all their infinite knowledge, was like, You're not supposed to yell at people like that. Respect your elders. Like, brother. Brother. Do you want me to explode? Do you actually want me to throw up in front of everyone because they can't stop giving me rice? I know I'm, I'm literally shaped like a circle. That doesn't mean I eat so much. Oh, man. That, that had me frustrated as shit. And that's kind of where I got like, yeah, no. If I want to have someone stop giving me shit, like, I know they care about me, but please listen to me. I'm gonna have to force them to. I'll put you in appearance so you can get worshipped. How much rice did they think you eat? A lot, evidently. Like, I know I've got myself a good tum. Like, you could use me as a pillow. But, like, that doesn't mean I eat as much. Please read my words. Listen. I'll fucking go Navi on your ass. Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, man. Here, I'll put the locker away for now. Oh, boy. It is what it is. But, like, it can be so infuriating. <laughs> God. Hey, you know, thanks for listening in, though. I appreciate it a lot. Because, like, it's not often that I uh, just get to uh, talk about all this shit, you know? Cookie. Oh, that's how you make cookies, huh? Okay. Uh, it was just relatives. They, it's a, it's a case of like, oh yeah, I like you, but you need more food. I'm going to give you more food. We have a lot of food. And even though I kept saying no, they still kept giving me it. So I had to really lay it out there. Like, for some reason, they detest it when I put my foot down. Like, I remember them telling me, I, I think it was my dad. They're like, some dumbass metaphor of sorts. Basically being like, sometimes you just have to put your foot down. You know, sometimes you have to take the reins and be in control for of your own uh, self for a second when it happens against them they're just like bruh can i have normal avali no because i'm actually going to end stream so yeah
I'm gonna I'll I'll definitely refund that though. Uh it's just a shame though. They don't let you refund it right from the activity feed, that's sad. Uh let's see. Uh reject. You should have your points back now. But yeah. It was just a case of they're giving me way too much to eat. Like way too much to eat. It's safe for you. It's eleven twenty six PM. I eat, like, eat? No, I go to, usually now would be when I would go to sleep, but I just don't. <laughs> this is usually what I stream in, uh, this is actually usually when I would have started stream, but, yeah. I'll probably do another stream tomorrow. I don't know what I will do tomorrow. Maybe a retexture. Uh, cause right now I can't really think of much in the way of games that I might want to play. Even though I have a lot of stuff I can play, I, uh, I might do a retexture stream. Who knows? Get weird, no worries, friend. Oh yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I might do a retexture stream tomorrow just to relax a bit more. It might not be as venti as this, but honestly, it is, it is nice, like, being able to do these streams and just rant about like some of the bullshit that happens in the world it's it's honestly great and i appreciate you all for sticking by and listening to me and and giving your own input too like it's great but yeah i'm gonna I have some laughs about what you're saying oh yeah oh yeah i'm glad you enjoy it though like yeah it's a rant but hey at the very least, I could at least be a little entertaining about it, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna, like... I am a week away from, uh... Even if it's not venti, it can still be latte. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. We could... We could definitely take that in. But, yeah. Ah, the music. But yeah. Thanks for uh, swinging by. Thanks for listening in on everything. I, uh... <sighs> yep, yeah, right after a coffee commission. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you loved the uh, coffee, Dirk, though. I appreciate it. Uh, I want to post it. I want to go to VR at some point and post it. Post pictures of it on Twitter, though. So, if you do have a Twitter, just, like, add me with it in my DMs. Or I could just, like, say it's from, for Dudamus on Twitch. If that's okay with you. So yeah. Just just let me know in like DMs or something, it's fine. But yeah. Sharon show off? Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call it for the night. Yee, absolutely. I'm gonna go ahead and call it for the night. Uh, I will come back with a stream tomorrow and see what I can do in the next few days. I will have to take some time to prepare to uh, go back to the US. Which me and uh, considering how things will go, you might not see a stream from me for like a week. Because I'll be busy doing stuff and I'll be away from anything that can actually stream. So yeah. And I could have probably used my laptop here and there, but my, the current laptop I have, I don't think is good enough to do a lot of the things that I have right now. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, again, thank you everyone for swinging by. I super appreciate you being here. I super appreciate it being able to talk about a lot of things and uh, get some stuff off my chest. And hopefully you can get some stuff off your chests as well. Uh, and yeah, expect me to like try and do a uh, retexture stream tomorrow, as relaxing as that can be, you know? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's a nice emote. So, yeah, I am gonna go ahead and send you guys over to someone. I know who I'm gonna send you guys over to. Uh,. I usually never get the chance to raid them because we stream at essentially the same time. Which is not gonna lie also kind of why I kind of don't want them to raid me either because our times are so similar in the end. But yeah. We're gonna go ahead and raid Bardic. 
So let's do that real quick. There you go. The droid that you left, you lose. Uh, they're in VR themselves, but they're like looking at their Discord and stuff. So yeah, yeah, we're raiding Bard. G would you look at that? We're raiding the person whose server we are in. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks for stream. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. I'm more than happy to do these, honestly. Like, I super enjoy doing these streams. Like, they're relaxing, they're fun. I came in as he left. Yeah, it's unfortunate timing. But I'll be streaming at my usual time tomorrow. So, don't worry about it one bit. But yeah. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and then I know give myself a little bit of a break. Maybe, uh, you know, watch Bard Extremes as I stay in the Minecraft server for a bit more because Minecraft is honestly super fun. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Thanks a bunch everyone. Enjoy your time over at Bard.